let's take 30 seconds to learn how steps will work. So when you've created a new step, you'll see your top bar, this is your step editor, and you'll have different modes including edit, navigate, and preview. If we click edit, we'll see the step that I created earlier, and you'll notice that there are a few different options I can select up here. I can set the trigger. This is the URL the step should appear on, whether there's an element that should be present on the page, and any user action triggers that you might want to set. In the focus section, you can select where the step is positioned, whether it's relative to screen or anchored to an element on the page. And you can select overlays or other highlights and effects. In the content section, you can select components within the step. So this can include, for example, progress indicator, media, a dismiss cross, etc. And of course, with any of these components, you can simply click into them to see the editing options for them. So in this case, I click the button and I can decide whether the button links to other steps in the tour or this runs other actions. Finally, you can select the interaction options available for a user. So once you've built your step, you can go ahead and preview and then it will behave like it will for an end user. Go ahead and try it out. Maybe build a step that's attached to an element that shows on hover of a label. Go try that out.